Good day peeps, me again Diner and today mag rice research to production course na naman tayo pero of course this time yung ho, ako yung mag uh, pepper set ng game of rice ni Dr. Barker so 2023 na eto pa lang tayo, let's check it out As you can see ako, uh, Dr. Barker passed away last year, 2022. So, 2023 na. Wala nang work from home almost, no? Talagang wala nang hybrid. Almost physically, face-to-face -face na yung mga training. So, yung price research to production course ay... Uh, we have 24 participants, no? Mostly from the US and China. Ngayon din yung event ng farewell namin kay DG, kay John Valle, who is also the platform leader noong Agribood. It's been a while since nag-update ako nitong program ng Rice Research to Production Course. Pero, ayan na. Let's go. Swamming Hall. 11 o'clock schedule ko. 10 minutes na lang. So, tinan natin yung participants. Pagkakala ko 11, so baka na late. Kasi isa lang yung nakita ko doon. Baka hindi sumama siya doon sa part ng training na yun. So at least may time pa ako to review. What do you sing for today's session? I hope you get access to the link. Specialist in data management here at Ili. Let's all welcome Sir Denner De Leon. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, hope you have a great day today. So I'm gonna distribute this uh, worksheet, uh, one for each, I'll explain later. So the one who will handle this worksheet uh, will be uh, the budget manager, and I'll explain later. And can you access this link? knowledgebank.ed.org slash rice grow. One of my biggest questions when I arrive at here, and still, up to now, I'm still busy. How much is the average income of a typical rice farmer in the Philippines per hectare, for example, uh, and per season, which is, you know, six months of growing rice crop in the Philippines? So this is based on the uh, one of the reports from one of our uh, Department of Ministry in Agriculture. This is based on the exchange rate of 2014, and of course, it plays a lot of, you know, there are so many uh, factors no, affecting. And there are attempts in the government in the Philippines that they will try to double that effort. 192 peso, that's almost $2 per day. He said we'll double it. I asked Google Bard. Anyone use Google Bard or any chat GPT AI out there? You can try right now. So what, what did they say? The rice farmers average monthly income ranges from 21,440. Uh, this was year 2020, and that's around $432. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Denner De Leon from the International Rice Research Institute, and I'm here to promote the game of rice, which is somehow a game, but not quite. It's a web app, actually. Uh, 20 years in the IT industry as a database manager. Management specialist under the transformative Policies and investments, you know, I still have to remember the name because of the reorganization here. So this is not farm bill, your typical game, <laughs> you, you remember that, I also played that before. That's Bruce Lee's Game of Death. If you're a 1970s fan like me, I like Bruce Lee. It's not Game of Death where you have to level up, you know, fight all your way up to Abdul the Jabbar up to, to kick. And it's also not Game of Thrones. Sorry, it was not over, it overlapped. It's not Game of Thrones as well, where you have to overcome one kingdom to another. So Game of Rice is a, uh, a that simulation experience of a Filipino farmer as he attempts to earn 
profit producing rice. Uh, irrigated. We gather this from real data from our Central Luzon survey, which is a uh, we have that database called the Farm Household Survey Database. But you can now find it on ED Harvard Dataverse. And um, what are the conditions and scenarios that we can control or somehow we cannot control? Uh, crops, crop loss due to weeds, diseases, insect bird, and that damage is one of it. Yes. Tool 50 for labor. Urea is 45. Get the income for each. So you will need to report for each because uh, you need to explain the losses or the gain. So who is your assigned person on that? Okay, good. Which one will be the reporter? Who will be the budget manager who will report your findings, your data after this? Yeah. Yeah, you have to write it down and then explain all of those. So who will be the person to do that? You? You? Okay, okay good. were so low. This one. And then for uh, trial two and three, or season two and three, we uh, indicated to use all of the protective measures. Great. A round of applause, guys. And may I ask, what specific uh, input did you use, you know, in order to gain this 40,000 peso? Is it high fertilizer? We did, uh, like, we did hand weeding. We did, like, hiring the... Uh, tractor. tractor. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so group two, we were steady farmers. First season, we used the carabao, oh, okay. which was hired. Okay, hired. Okay. Yes. Not owned. Okay. Then in the second season, we decided to own. Wow. Okay. So we cut down our costs. So yes, because you. Carabao, oh. 120. Drastic change, no? Yes. Okay, good. Then in the third season two, we decided, okay, we are going to go higher on fertilizer. So the second two years, we applied nice. insecticide. Yep. Agree, agree. Good, yep. good. Nice, right. nice one. A round of applause to group number two. How about three? You. <laughs> you used three, four different devices, and all of you have typhoon. <laughs> How unfortunate of you guys, okay. For all the inputs, uh, other than the ones that are constant, we used uh, pesticide only instead of doing IPM. Mm -hmm. And we applied insecticide, molesticide, as well as acute, uh, uh, acute roticide. Yeah, like acute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got unlucky in the middle because we had a rat infestation. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah, those damn rats. Uh, <laughs> damn, there was a rat. So, man, so I, I were low, but, you know, this jump is pretty significant, I think. Yeah, I know this is uh, on the third and the last part, you gain a lot of income. So you did a lot yes. of management on Wrong the rat, money. but no typhoon. Here, there's no typhoon on this no one. No typhoon, yeah. Ah, okay, right? but still no. Okay, I'm wondering. So it might be insect or weed, no? Okay, yeah. congratulations. And the highest one is root number. But let's see. We didn't have a lot of 
didn't have um, insect pesticide, uh -huh. and we lost 50% of our crops because of it. And so the next year, the only thing we changed was um, we added insect pesticide. Oh, okay. And then the following year, we decided to do everything super traditional. So we changed. <laughs> the no we, did, we did no mechanization. We did caravel. We owned. We did um, hand weeding. Yeah. We, by starting today's celebration with Jean planting his own very fire tree alongside those of our revered former DGs. So have a look. Beautiful fire trees, right? to my channel by clicking on the upper left and on the lower right. Peace.